Converting this machine to Irish embroidery is really easy. First we're going to remove the foot, then we're going to remove the feed plate and throat plate and the feed dogs. We're then going to replace the throat plate and feed plate. We're going to install a different foot that I've modified for free motion embroidery. We're going to loosen the presser foot pressure up here on the top and we're going to adjust the knee Before I go ahead and tighten down these two feed plate screws, I'm going to rotate the hand wheel of the machine and cycle the needle to make sure that I am not going to strike the far end of the needle plate. So that side looks good, that side looks fine too. So give it a tighten. Next, I'm going to replace the foot that was installed with uh, a similar foot you can see here in my left hand. This is the one that we were using, and this is the one that I'm going to install. On the back side of the foot, there's a little spring. This is the original, and it keeps the toe of the foot pointed up so that it'll glide over material more easily. I'll do some stills of this so you can see the back. I've taken the spring out and it's going to let us move the material more easily. So now I have the feed dog removed and the new foot installed, uh, but you can see that there's still a little bit of tension on the material as I try to move it under the foot. So what I'm going to do now is turn this knob, which controls the pressure on the presser foot, and I'm going to loosen it basically all the way until it's about half a turn from coming out. It's just about there. Now you can see that I can move this material under the foot, no problem. Here we are underneath the machine again and zooming in. You can see that this here is our knee lifter lever. This has two adjustments. One is here for the height of the lever. The other one is on the bottom, and that's for the forward and backward position. Uh, so I've moved this forward so that it aligns with, zoom out here, this forward linkage. You can see here that I'm moving the knee lever underneath the machine and that will also work in conjunction with this lever here.